Dear Mr. Collinson, I too have been experimenting with this new fickle static electricity. Just earlier tonight, when I was admiring the lightning in the most dramatic of storms, the hairs on my arms stood up as if they were going to jump off because they had somewhere else to be. Then, when I kissed my wife goodnight, that elusive electric fire returned. And I came inside to avoid getting shocked. This gave me the most wonderful of ideas, that this electric fire is the same as the lightning in the sky. I've concluded that this static electricity is the movement of electrons. You see, all matter is made of atoms. These atoms consist of three parts, protons, which have a positive charge, neutrons, which have no charge, and negatively charged electrons. Many of these electrons are not strongly bound with the atom to which they belong, allowing them to rub off and collect. So, when another object or person who happens to have less electrons on them, making them more positively charged, comes in contact with another, well, opposites attract and the electrons jump from one person to the other, releasing some light and heat when they make their journey. Some objects, like metal, allow the movement of electrons more freely, which is why static electricity seems to be attracted to itself. If I'm right that static electricity and lightning are the same, then the lightning must be attracted to metal as well. I'm off now to find out if this is true. I'll be sure to let you know how it goes. Signed, your friend, Ben Franklin.